So President Paul Kagame has noted that the University of Cape Town should play an active role in Africa's economic integration efforts as well as African unity in general. The Rwandan president made the remarks during a ceremony to install Dr. Precious Moloi Motepe as the chancellor of the University of Cape Town. The University of Cape Town is not only one of Africa's finest universities, it is recognized around the world for excellence. Among its graduates, we count South Africa's best and brightest, as well as many emerging professionals in my own country and throughout Africa. The time our students spent on the University of Cape Town campus not only enriched them academically, but prepared them for a productive life of service after graduation. The chancellor is much more than a symbolic head of the university. Over time, the incumbent chancellor of the University of Cape Town has tended to reflect where South Africa is and where it is going. Precious is not only an imminent successor to our sister Grassa Machel, but an inspiration in her own right as a physician, a philanthropist, and an entrepreneur. My family and I are proud to count her and Patrice as friends and indeed family members. Going forward, we want to see an even greater connection between the University of Cape Town and our continent as a whole, as we work to deepen African economic integration and unity. Now, Dr. Precious Mori Motsepe is a businesswoman in South Africa, and last year, uh, Forbes magazine named her among the, th the most, the 15 most powerful women on the continent. She becomes the University of Rwanda's Cape Town sixth chancellor, replacing Grasha Graka Marshall. Now, let's go back to the installation of Dr. Precious Molai Motepe as the, cha uh, the chancellor of the University of Cape Town. And joining me right now via uh, Skype is Professor Mamo Kenti. Pakeng, who is the Vice Chancellor of the University of Cape Town, joining us all the way from South Africa. We appreciate your time. Many thanks for joining us this evening on Wanda TV. Thank you very much for inviting me. Pleasure. Um, it must have been an eventful day today, but let's first talk about having President Paul Kagame speak at the installation of Dr. Precious Motepia as the new Chancellor of the University. What does that mean? Well, it was, it was a wonderful gesture. Of course, we at the University of Cape Town have had good relationships with uh, Rwanda, uh, with many of um, the postgraduate students um, who were trained in Rwanda. There's many academics who were trained, uh, who were trained at UCT. Um, and we also have a partnership with the University of Rwanda in the, um, we are together part of the um, uh, Alliance of Research Universities in Africa, African Alliance of Research Universities. And, um, and, and that was very symbolic. It was so apt because in our vision 2030, um, we are reclaiming our African identity as a university. And we want to be the best for Africa. And having President Kagame talk at the inauguration um, who is one of the, the, the very respected leaders in the continent and the world. It was, it was really heartwarming. It made, it sort of was symbolic in terms of what we want to achieve or to be to the continent as a university. So we were very grateful that uh, President Kakame uh, managed to speak at, our, at, at the inauguration of, of our chancellor. You, you seem to actually be having a very good relationship uh, with Rwanda. We uh, understand a couple of uh, Rwandan students have gone to your university, isn't it? Yes, they did. And, 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 and I mean, the truth of the matter is that we would like to have 
that relationship continuing? I mean, we, we know that there are difficulties in terms of Rwandan students coming to study at UCT. Um, not coming to study at UCT, but actually getting visas to come and study in South Africa. And our hope is that that complexity gets resolved mm -hmm. because we, we, our relationship with the University of Rwanda is a very strong one. But also with the uh, African Institute of Mathematical Sciences that now has got a branch in Rwanda. And as you know, it started here in South Africa in Cape Town and many of our academics are engaged in it. So, so we, yeah, we have a very strong relationship. And, and of course, um, the Deputy Vice Chancellor for Research at the mm -hmm. University of Rwanda is also a good collaborator with us. Uh, and of course, the former Vice Chancellor as well, and the current Vice Chancellor. I met, I met the acting Vice Chancellor, actually. Um, I'm not sure if there's already the, uh, um, the permanent Vice Chancellor appointed, but um, we work with uh, Professor Cotton, um, and we work with the Deputy Vice Chancellor for Research, and I've met, I can't remember his name, but the uh, acting Vice Chancellor. So we have a very strong relationship. Uh, University of Rwanda is an important partner. Rwanda as a country mm. is, uh, is important for us. Every time I go to Rwanda, I meet with the graduates. There's lots of them at, in Rwanda. We, we love connecting. They, they enjoy their time at UCT, and they, they continue to interact with us when we're there. So, so yeah, it, it, it really was um, uh, very heartwarming and, as I said, very symbolic um, yeah. for us to have uh, President Kagame uh, speak at, uh, at the inauguration. Very lastly, uh, what does Dr. Precious Motepe bring on board uh, to the University of Cape Town? You know, Dr. Mule Motepe brings stature, brings a wealth of experience, um, not only in philanthropy, but in business and also in working with, with universities elsewhere in the world and also global organizations such as uh, the World Economic Forum. And so she brings to us a network, but also wisdom, wisdom that, that's rooted in how in Ubuntu, because um, uh, Dr. Muloi Motsipe works with the grassroots. She works with young people, she works with women, um, she works with traditional leaders and religious leaders in our country. And, and, and therefore she's connected to the people on the ground. And also what she cares for, her value system resonates with ours. She is um, very committed to um, environmental sustainability and also attending to the plight of the poor. And, and that resonates with us. So we are very fortunate to have someone of, he, of her caliber having accepted to be our leader at this very critical time, not only of the world, but also of yeah. higher education in South Africa and on the continent. Professor Pakeng, we are really appreciate your time and thank you so much for giving us insights about this whole installation activity but also the Rwanda uh, Cape Town University relationship and South African relationship in general. We really appreciate your time indeed. Thank you very much.